Wondering what I'm doing in amongst all these bulbs here? It's time to feed them. I've just added some liquid fertilizer here to the sprinkling can and I'm mixing it up thoroughly so it mixes with the, the water. And then is what I'm going to do is actually put the fertilizer right on the foliage of all these bulbs. Now why would you do that at this time of the year? See they're only about two to four inches high but that's the time to fertilize them. And any kind of liquid fertilizer in that spring application is really important. I'm using fish fertilizer, but you could use 20, 20, 20, miracle Grow, rapid Grow, whatever you have around, even a houseplant fertilizer. Get it onto the foliage of the bulbs at this time of the year. This is the time to feed them. And let me show you why and kind of explain to you the importance here. If we feed the foliage of a tulip or a daffodil or a hyacinth, or anything else, that is then the direct route back to the bulb. So we build the strength into the bulb, not really for this year because the strength is already there, but for next year, that's the key. Now, if we put the fertilizer right here on the soil, as a lot of people do, you can imagine how long it takes to get down to the root system below and how much of it ever gets there. But by putting it directly onto the foliage, then that's the direct route back here to the bulb. So this is a very important time for feeding the bulbs. Now, something else. Here's daffodils, for example. And I picked the flower on this, so it's through flowering. As soon as daffodils and tulips and hyacinths and crocus are through flowering, you feed the foliage again. Now, is what I like to use at that time is 01010, no nitrogen, just phosphorus and potash. Now a 01010, the reason why I recommend that or something similar to it, and there are several brands on the market, is that that's what builds the flower into the bulb for next spring. And you do that immediately after they finish flowering. Now one last thing on the bulbs. Three weeks, 21 days after they finish flowering, the foliage can be cut to the ground. Three weeks, so you have to wait that 21 day period. That's true on daffodils and on tulips ball. Now, while I'm here, let's just show you a couple other things. I noted, for example, look at the weeds coming up here below. This is a real problem, and we got to get these out before they flower and go to seed. And so we want to do any weeding at this time of the year. And I'm also going to plant here. This doesn't have a lot of color. So I'm going to put this winter flowering heather in here just to add a little bit of color to this entire planting area. And now's a good time to do it. So give those bulbs the attention they need in any planting that needs it to be done too.